A teaser trailer for the new game, The Lord of the Rings, Gollum has been released, giving us a good glimpse into the style and setting of this title. In this video, I'd like to talk about what we know so far regarding the story of the game, as well as what we can expect in the way of game mechanics. In March of 2019, it was announced that German developers Datalik Entertainment, a studio famous for point-and-click adventure games such as the Deponia series, had struck a deal with Middle Earth Enterprises to develop this title. The game is set to follow the character Gollum before the events laid out in the Lord of the Rings novels. Karsten Fischelman, CEO and co-founder of Datalik Entertainment, revealed more details about the game after its initial announcement in an interview with The Hollywood Reporter. Regarding the concept behind the project itself, he's quoted saying, You already have that big conflict in the character, two voices talking to you continuously, which means there is a good reason there are decisions to make in the game, the Smeagol decisions or the Gollum decision. This is an intriguing concept to be sure. I like the idea of involving the player in Gollum's inner conflict and exploring how certain decisions will impact your journey. The interview continued with Fishtelman revealing some of the negotiation process with the Tolkien estate. He said, Our goal was to present a storytelling experience. About four years ago, I caught Middle Earth Enterprises in Berkeley, maybe like Peter Jackson did 20 years ago, and I said we're interested in licensing Lord of the Rings. After some negotiations, it was clear that the Tolkien estate looked for a company that was capable of doing something which is more story-oriented than some of the other products that came out over the last years. Regarding this new partnership with Middle-Earth Enterprises, Gollum could be the first of multiple titles for Datalik, so it'll be interesting to see what's coming down the pipeline next. When considering the studio's goal with the game's appearance, Fishelman stated they don't want to go too deep into the uncanny valley by making hyper-realistic games. When it comes to shapes, colors, we definitely try to produce something that is a statement. The first images of the game were revealed in May of 2020, and we can see what Datalik CEO was referring to about producing something that was a statement visually, while at the same time not being too realistic. It certainly has striking and detailed imagery with a variety of landscapes. In the images that were released, we seem to get a look at the gameplay decisions that Fishtelman was referring to. Most of the other screenshots look to be from the region of Mordor, but we also got a glimpse of a lush forest area with some giant spiders featured in it. Most recently, the first teaser trailer was revealed, and while it didn't show actual gameplay, we got a cinematic that gives us a good look at Gollum emerging from the depths and into Mordor overlooking Mount Doom. I'll leave a link in the description below for the screenshot images as well as the new teaser trailer. In January of 2020, Edge magazine was given a world-exclusive preview of the game, and more details were revealed about the story. The game will apparently start off in Barad-dûr, the Dark Tower, the fortress of the Dark Lord Sauron in the land of Mordor. Gollum is being held there against his will, and we can certainly see how the stealth and hiding aspect will feature in gameplay as well as the decision-making aspect of the narrative. The developers also made a point to say that there will be other, quote, giant, persistent environments to explore beyond this initial setting. Regarding the gameplay details in the Edge preview, it was revealed that there will be a focus on stealth and not affording Gollum with too many abilities, focusing on platforming gameplay and subterfuge over skill trees and character progression. That certainly makes sense to not give Gollum too many abilities that would be out of character for him. I appreciate the effort to stay within the confines of how he was written. This makes for a fresh and unique approach to the stealth genre that I'm excited for. It was also revealed that we'll see a range of friendly and unfriendly faces. The Nazgul are said to be in the game, which isn't a surprise considering where the story begins. Also, the Elven King Thranduil of the Woodland Realm is said to be featured in some respect. In the lore of Middle-earth, shortly after Gollum is released from Barad-dûr, he is captured by Gandalf and Aragorn and is subsequently handed over to the Wood Elves living in Thranduil's kingdom in Mirkwood. So this is the most likely place in the story that we would see Thranduil appear. When commenting on the design for Gollum, the developers said their version would look nothing like The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings films. Producer Kai Feibig clarified their approach to his appearance and said, We started with the person he was and then evolved him. You can see that this was something like a human being before the ring corrupted him. 
The first cinematic gave us a good glimpse at what they were going for. We see that he has more hair and wider eyes. It's an interesting take to distinguish him from the film interpretations, and it does make sense to try to give him a more human, or in this case, hobbit-like appearance, in comparison to the film version, considering there is more of a focus on the player exploring both sides of his personality. With the new teaser trailer that was released came some more details regarding the gameplay mechanics. Martin Wilkes, the lead game designer, in an interview with IGN, revealed that the game mixes stealth with vertical climbing parkour. If you want a reference, you might think of it as similar to Prince of Persia. It is mostly a non-combat game, but Gollum will be able to stealthily take out enemies. However, this will not be easy and will always come with big risks. We want players to carefully weigh these encounters. After all, Gollum's strengths lie in cunning, not combat. Gollum doesn't use weapons, but he can distract enemies with throwables. In parts of the game, he will also profit from the abilities of special allies and can use the environment to his advantage. In regards to those special allies that we can encounter as Gollum, narrative designer Tillman Shannon had some more insight, saying, Keeping in mind the scope and timeline of our narrative, we have to closely consider who Gollum would even be able to meet, where, and when. This means that for the most part, they will play smaller, but in some cases, very significant roles in the story. While this time frame affords for creative freedom, the developers are sticking close to the source material where they can. Tillman said, We follow Tolkien's story quite strictly and only take some freedom for purposes of gamification or sometimes simplification. Tolkien doesn't describe Gollum's story before he appears in the book in great detail, so mainly we draw from small notes in the appendices and second-hand reports from characters like Gandalf. More was also revealed about the start of Gollum's adventure, and Tillman said, quote, we start our story parallel to the first book when Frodo is still in the Shire and knows nothing about anything. Gollum at that time ventures to Mordor still desperately looking for Bilbo Baggins and the Ring. Unfortunately, he gets caught by Sauron's servants, and this is basically where our story begins. To play as Gollum at this time period certainly sounds like an intriguing way to expand and pay tribute to the lore surrounding his character. He is a standout creation of Tolkien. When he is encountered in The Hobbit, he is a shadow of his former self. Gollum was once known as Smeagol. He was a type of hobbit that was stockier and dwelt mostly near rivers. Smeagol obtained the ring after murdering his relative Deagle for it. The one ring gave him an unnaturally long life, and it corrupted him body and soul. Over time, the ring's influence caused him to have the dual-sided personality Smeagol and Gollum. He loves and hates the ring, as he loves and hates himself. The game looks beautiful so far, and I'm very intrigued about this fresh and unique take on the stealth adventure genre, as well as the opportunity to explore the duality of this character and its effects on the narrative and gameplay as you make decisions. I look forward to seeing some actual gameplay footage, but what I've seen so far has definitely piqued my interest. This game will be available to play on PC, as well as the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. It is set to release in 2021, so it very well may coincide with Amazon's current Middle Earth TV series. As more news comes out about this title, I'll be sure to keep you updated. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe for more Lord of the Rings and other sci-fi and fantasy content. And let me know what you think about this new game and its story and reported gameplay features. Thank you all so much for your support, and as always, have a very nerdy day.